This combo tutorial is gonna blow your mind. Six negate the Remy Court combo tutorial. You guys are ready for that? Let's go, baby. If you're ready for that, smash the subscribe button. If you guys like the Remy Court? If you guys want to see the deck profile of this deck, if you guys want to see the deck profile of the Remy Cords, who knows? Maybe we even post it tonight. Maybe we even post two videos today, baby. If you guys want to see the Remy Court deck profile of this insane combo tutorial, it's literally a 20 minute video just talking about the comment tutorial so there's a lot to talk about in this deck so if you guys want to see the deck profile comment down below if you want to see it and i'll post that tonight baby let's go i want to give also a massive shout out moving forward every single morning i don't know if you guys have seen it earlier we started our very first live Yu-Gi-Oh community workout it's going to be every single day same time 8 a.m eastern time so join in tomorrow and let's get sold together guys one duelist at a time let's do it as for this video six negate combo tutorial the remy cord Let's go, boys. It's about time that I show you guys that the Remy Cord is the best deck since it beat me. Let's go. The Remy Cord time, baby. Let's go. I love this deck. I spent the last fucking four days working on this deck. If you guys wonder why I haven't posted in the last four days, I spent fucking 50 hours creating this combo and just dueling with my boys, trying to figure out the best way to play this deck. I'm convinced this is the best way to play this deck. I put in more hours for this deck than anyone in the world, probably. And uh, it's fucking insane. It's a 60 card deck, and you guys are going to see why. It's insane. I would never play this deck at 40. Why? You guys are going to fucking have to stay tuned to figure that one out. All right, let's get started. First things first, normal Diviner of the Herald. This card's coming out in one month. If you say in the comments, oh, Trip is not out yet, shut the fuck up. I don't care. It's coming out in a month, so we're gonna play it. Effect, send a fairy to your grave. It sends Trias, Hierarchia. Now you might be thinking, why are you playing Trip? You know, literally, it looks like my name, Trip almost, but why are you playing this card? Well, its effect allows you to tribute the Divine of the Heralds when you send it to the grave. And what Divine of the Heralds does when you get tributed, it specials a level two or lower fairy from your deck. This hear that? So what this card does is it special summons, the normal summon divine of the herald, special summon a level two or lower fairy from your deck. Can you guys please tell me right now, before I even fucking show you, can you just say it out loud? What is a level two or lower fairy in a Doremi Court deck? That's right. The fucking best card in the deck, baby! Doremi Court Kutea! So this card searches out Doremi Court Kutea for free. So for those who didn't know that, that's no, that's number one, you're welcome, okay? Tip number one, fucking play this card. When this card comes out, it's a game changer. So pick this Trifas Hierarchia card out ASAP. Why? Because we have something in common. He's nine stars and I put up nine negates. Same shit, let's go. So next, I'm gonna show you guys the next thing you guys need to know. All right, we're gonna activate the fact of Kutea. You might be wondering what do you want to search? Most people here would be searching the special summon. You don't need that, okay? You search Gracia, why? The two best Doremi Court cards in the deck, okay? After Kutea, the ones you want a Pendulum Summon, okay? The two you want a Pendulum Summon. I'm giving you every tip in the Doremi Court, pl Doremi Court playbook right now. So stay tuned. It's fucking jam-packed with info. You're going to want to always Pendulum Summon, Gracia, and Angalea. These two! Prioritize them. I don't care what you have to do. Prioritize these two cards. Whether that means opening with Fanseya, Normal summon, send one of these, or whether it's Kutea searching one of them, whatever the fuck it may be, you need to pendulum summon these two. Okay? The most important the pendulum summon is Angalea. This is the number one best card to pendulum summon. The number two best card to pendulum summon is Gracia. You need to summon these two. That's it, you just need to. Okay? If you could do that, you're well off and you're gonna have a fuck ton huge board. Next, I want you guys to tell me something. What can Doremicor do that, that that all pendulum decks can? This deck can plus and give you a follow-up like crazy. So you already know that that could put up five monsters in the field, but how are you gonna put up negates? Ready for, for trick number three? So trick number one is fucking play Diviner of the Heralds. <laughs> trick number two is always always try and pendulum summon Gracia or Angalia. Angalia won Gracia too. Trick number three, you ready? Play this card. Oh wait, fuck, my bad. I, I, after this, oh, Elegance, you fucking have to play three of this. This card's insane. So trick number three is Elegance's best effect is not draw two. Elegance's best effect is sending one of these that you're gonna pendulum summon already, okay? You're already gonna pendulum summon one of them. So I'm just gonna send Gracia back, because I know I'm gonna pendulum summon it, to give me two free scales. 
Now my skills are complete. So that's trick number three. Trick number four. I'm probably going to bless you guys with fucking 50 of these tricks. Trick number four is don't summon the same scales, okay? Don't put up another Kutea here. You want to have different names because I'm going to eventually pop my whole field. I'll, I'll explain why later, okay? Maybe you guys can see it coming now. But I'm going to get rid of my whole field. So I want access for my field spell to search any Doremi Corp I want for my extra deck. So trick number four is when possible, put different names in the scale with elegance, okay? Now trick number five. You already know this deck could plus like crazy and end on like five monsters with three cards in hand. You know this. How do you get negates? The Remy Chord, and you might be wondering why I'm playing 60 cards as well, it's for this exact number one reason. You need negates, baby. So why not combine your five monsters that do fuck all with the best fucking league monster in the game after Electrum? Verde Anaconda. You need fucking negates. It's just the only way to play the Remy Chord. If you're not going to put up Dragoon, like it gives you any two Doremi Chord monsters equal Dragoon. Don't worry about the bricks. You're playing 60 cards. You're not going to fucking draw them. Just don't draw them. It's as easy as that. Just tell your fucking heart of the cards before you draw. I'm not drawing Dragoon. I'm not drawing Red Eyes or, or, or Red Eyes Fusion or Dark Magician. And you're just not going to draw it. It's, it's, it's just that simple. Just fucking ask your deck that you don't have to open it, okay? So next, you might be thinking, okay, well, what's your next play? Are you going to Terraforming for the Doremi Court Field spell? Well, now it's time to blow your mind even more. The best way to play this deck, you ready? To so terraforming, you ready? We're not fucking searching Doremi Court Fields, but we're searching Oracle of Zephra. Zephra pairs with the Remy Chords extremely well. Why? Because if you don't open Elegance, you're gonna need another way to put cards on the scale. Okay, you don't wanna just waste your cards. So the best way to do that is with Oracle, uh, uh, with Zephrath. Now you might be wondering, well, you already opened Elegance, so you can't Zephrath. That's okay. You just need to open Zephrath, any Zephra card, so there's like 10 of them, or Elegance. You have 13, like, one card scales, basically. So what we're going to do here is, because we already have it, we search Zephyr Nui, giving us another negate. What's this deck missing? Negates, bro. This deck's missing negates. It already has a follow-up. It already has plus. The Remy Gords is missing negates. Dragoon gives you a negate. Divine Strike gives you a negate. Now, how are you going to put up your other negates? Well, I'm going to show you how right now. Next, you're going to be wondering, okay, well, that's cool, Triff. That's cool. Your Pendulum Summon is set up. All right, that's cool. But what's this Duelist Alliance for? I'm not playing Pendulum Magicians. Fuck that. I'm. We'll play that deck another time. What's Duelist Alliance searching? Well, I'm about to blow your mind with another sick combo here. Ready? Duelist Alliance is actually going to search the most underrated Pendulum card in Yu-Gi-Oh. That, that, you guys, are, you guys aren't even ready for this. You ready? Duel, you have so many powerful cards in this deck. Gracia is a plus one. Angelia is incredible. You need Kutea sometimes. You have so many great cards. Duelist Alliance is going to search the Triff Special. You ready? The Pendulum Triffer. <laughs> pendulum Treasure, baby! Let's go! Lose Alliance is going to search Pendulum Treasure. You only play one Pendulum Treasure in your deck, okay? Its name is Pendulum. Why not take advantage of Lose Alliance? We don't need to search Pendulum Treasure. I just want to showcase that it's actually good. Because it can search you anything you need. You can search your Zephra. Search any Dragon Cord you need. Or search the real boss monsters of your deck, which you haven't even fucking seen yet. This is like fucking trick number seven. I lost count. So, what? Are we actually going to search... Coincidentally, Duelist Alliance actually searches for this card, but if you already open this card, then Duelist Alliance can search Pendulum Treasure. So just a one of that's actually very helpful. Duelist Alliance slash Pendulum Treasure is now going to search for Former Pal, Pendulum, motherfucking Sorcerer. Let's go. Why? Because it synergizes so well with this deck. So now we're going to proceed to Pendulum Summon. Now, yes, I understand that this loses to Nibiru, but when you're playing Doremi Chord, you got to pick, all right? You could put, so with the exception of this hand, because you opened all spell cards, this deck doesn't play many spell cards, okay, aside from the Zephyr cards, and like, that's it. And Duelist Alliance, nothing else. It's all monsters. It plays around Droll very well. It plays around Ash very well, Veiler very well, plays around Imperm very well, plays around every hand trap very well. You can't even use a hand trap on the Pendulum Summon. You can't even sell them Strike this Pendulum Summon. You can't even Torrential this Pendulum Summon. The Doremi Chords protect everything, so that's another fucking tip. But, what else can we do here? Yes, it does lose to Nibiru. I'm gonna admit that. The Remy Chords hard loose to Nibiru, but that's okay. You can't play around everything. This deck could play around every hand trap except Nibiru, so don't forget that. But I don't give a fuck because they're not going to open Nibiru. Just tell your opponent not to open it and they won't open it. Very simple, guys. Logic. Come on. Anyways, so we Pendulum Summon here, and we have a Pendulum Summon of four. Every one of them is going to give us a plus right now. The point of this deck is not to just put up five, six, seven negates. It's to get a follow-up. So what are we going to do here? Okay, we're going to activate the effects. We're going to pop Oracle of Zephyr. We're going to pop specifically the high skill. You guys are going to see why. 
And we're gonna search everything. We're gonna search Zephyr Divine Strike. We're gonna use Gracia. You have two options to search. We could search either the Trap Card, which will give us an interruption, or the Field Spell, which I'll search later, but I'll show both options. And Sorcerer is gonna search a Celestial Magician, and none other, ready for another fucking trick? This deck, all this deck does is summon monsters that aren't the same level. You guys see the levels? Fucking, uh, well, I'm not fucking XYZing these. Angalia is gonna summon on Kuli, Kulia, okay? Sork, like, they're all different levels. You have no tuners, what the fuck are you gonna do? Well, Pen Sork is actually a tuner, boys. You didn't, didn't know this? It's actually a tuner. Pen Sork is gonna search a fucking tuner. You're gonna scale the same tuner that makes Pen Sork a tuner! Needle Viper, let's go! And what else is a tuner in your deck? Your fucking starter is a fucking tuner! It all goes together! All you need is a way, consistently, to bring out Needle Piper. Needle Piper special is this, and then you're gonna see some more fucked up crazy shit. Okay, it's not done yet, don't worry. Okay, next. Here, I'd actually rather search a field spell, but if you want to, you could search this. Why? Because Kulea, or sorry, Angelea, is gonna summon out Kulea, okay? So first, I'm gonna make this a tuner. Now, I guys want you to see something, okay? So its effect says, tribute a Doremi Chord monster, uh, and special a scale that is two or higher or lower. So Angalea is now gonna bring out Kulea or Kuria, whatever it's called, okay? And this is the negate on the opponent. So this is not a negate, but an interruption, okay? So what this could do uh, is quick effect when a card, act, okay, when a monster with attack less than or equal to the highest pendulum scale in your pendulum zone, blah, 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 you could destroy it. Okay, whenever, long story short, it's like a Walmart Zodiac Journey, okay? So it's not that bad. It, it's a solid interruption and it could negate, it could destroy any monster essentially like Dryden when they activate their effect essentially so that's really good now the reason why you might want to switch musica is because this card's an interruption when you have a low scale uh, odd scale and an even scale the remy chord monster so korea is scale one gracia is always an even scale because it's, it searches it so you're always gonna have gracia remember originally i said angalea and gracia are the best cards to pendulum summon well you pendulum summon scale through scale th korea brings out uh, angalea brings out korea right so you're always going to have a scale 1 on the field, and Gracia brings itself out, which brings this out. Hence, making Musica always live if you open both Gracia or Angalea or, or any way to them. There's so many. Like, you have nine searchers in the deck. Fansea is a searcher. All these are searchers. So you really have 15 ways to do it. So you guys see how ultra-consistent this deck is. You have 15 ways into this combo. Now we're not done yet. This is a tuner, remember? So our next combo now, what we were gonna do, we don't even care about negate. So I'm not even gonna search music. I'm gonna do even a cooler play. I'm gonna search for the field spell because the field spell will give us a follow-up. So what does the field spell do? Add a Dreaming Chord from my extra deck to my hand. So I'm gonna activate it to search Kutea for next turn. I'm gonna already have 10,000 negates on board. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Uh, the downside of Musica, which is another tip here, you have to make sure you have the Dreaming Chord monsters. This card's always gonna stay on field because it's your interruption, but I'd rather link away my Gracia. I'm about to go into do some needle fiber combos. I'd rather get rid of this card and have these as a follow-up. So I'm going to keep this Kutea as a follow-up, fire the effect of the field spell, rather than get the free extra interruption, and I'm just going to link this shit away for something else anyways. But it's good to have options. So next, I'm going to activate this effect to make Sork a tuner via the effect of Odd Synchron. And now I'm going to go into Needle Fiber. I'm going to leave this up for Nui and have Needle Fiber, especially level 2. Now you have free level 2 tuner and a Synchro 6 that's just sitting there. So unfortunately, we don't have access to Savage Dragon because uh, we don't have a link in the graveyard. So here, we're gonna have to go with something that I think is incredibly underrated and will help you kill them as well when your turn comes up. And that is the Synchro 8 right here, Draco Berserker the Tenny, actually very underrated. When your opponent activates a monster effect, banish it. So your opponent cannot activate monster effects, bro. Activate some monster effect, this will destroy it, this will banish it. He's fucking done. Like, there's nothing he could do. It's, it's so, actually so good. So it, it's very good. Uh, when you have both of these in the field and they are both level eight uh just saying if you want to do some cool fucking harbinger plays but that's stupid you don't need that uh this is just a, lot, a very very good okay so now we have an interruption here we have interruption here we have interruption with dragoon and divine strike but we're still not done yet so next we're gonna set that we're gonna summon dragoon we have an amazing follow-up so we have a gigantic board here huge board of big monsters but it, it, you're not done yet so you have one negate two negate three negate four negate now this is where it gets very special Needle Fiber is one of the most underrated cards. I know how broken it is, and that it's literally an 11 out of 10 and it's still underrated because this card's a fucking 15 out of 10. You get what I'm saying? So what this card does here is bring the Formula Synchron. So it gives you another plus one. You're going to draw again, okay? So to start your turn now, you have three cards. You have Scales Complete. You have Field Spell to give you another plus one and all this. You're not done yet. Now you're going to activate Formula Synchron on the opponent's turn. You ready? Formula Synchron. 
and bring out the most fucking broken synchro that's getting released very soon. Okay, it's getting released in the summer. You don't need to summon this. In the meantime, you can always summon the st Satellite Warrior that pops too. So that makes it six interruptions. Or instead, use Baronis the Floor to negate anything. And look at these big ass monsters, bro. You can't even attack Korea with its effect. Look at this. They're all like 3,000 plus. Like, your opponent's fucked. I need a Divine Strike to stop Dark Ruler. And what Baronis the Floor does as well, by the way, is after you... So what this card does, after you negate a card, okay? You could special level line Allura from your from your graveyard and bring this back. So if they find a way to get rid of Dragoon, if they find a way to special uh, this, get rid of Ten, this Draco Berserker of the Tenny, you use Baronis effect on your turn to bring this card fucking back. Are you fucking kidding me? Or bring this card back. And what that means is you can kill them. This card is like a Boral... Uh, it's like a Bor... Uh, what's it called? It's like a fucking... Uh, Bro, I'm having the massivest brain fart. The fucking Boral Link 4, bro. I've, oh, bro. I'm having the most massive brain fart of all time. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the OTK card, bro. Anyways, uh, uh, so this card is fucking insane. Helps you OTK. And that's what this card does. So this is, gives you five fucking negates. You draw one from formula. Your opponent can't do anything. And you get rid of Dragoon, you fucking summon the Dragoon back. And it's not about the five negates or six negates. The opponent's not playing through this big ass board. Even if they play through the five negates, how are you clearing four monsters of 3,000 plus attack with the Divine Strike? Let's say they find a way to clear half of them. This card brings the other card back. Now it's your turn. Okay. No problem, bro. No problem. Your turn now. Okay. So you draw. All right. Sure. Effect of this, put it back in deck. Special Formula Synchron. Or a special the fucking... Or special Dragoon or this if they get rid of it. If they don't get rid of it, special this card. Okay, sure. Synchro 10. <laughs> Synchro 10. Get another negate. Get this card out again. This card fucking nuts. Activate Harmonia. Add back again. Pen 5. This is the only deck, only Pendulum deck since Pepe that has had such a good follow-up. And that could continually doing this every turn. I haven't used shit for my extra deck. I've used 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six cards. This card recycled itself. I have nine cards left on my extra deck. Actually, ten. Because this card recycled itself. So I have ten cards left on my extra deck to play with. And they're all counterintuitive that do cool stuff. That's not, I don't even know what that word means. It's just big, so I used it. But it does so much against my opponent. My extra deck could clear their board, their boards, help me OTK, and just put up another board in the gates. Because we're playing some doubles of each card in case of like extravagance or prosperity. So that is insane. Let's get this video to uh, 1,000 likes. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. If we could do 1,000 likes, boys, you guys are going to get the most fucking amazing deck profile. This deck's insane. Amazing competitory. Hope you guys enjoy it. The video's already reaching near 20 minutes. Otherwise, I would love to showcase the deck profile. But this combo's insane. Deck profile tomorrow. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Because tomorrow morning is going to be an incredible day for the Yugi community. I don't give a fuck. We're going to get jacked, baby. We're going to get jacked. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! <laughs>